Coach Joe from Tactical Workouts, and today I'll share an effective trap bar deadlift workout that helps reduce back pain. But first, a tip to boost the intensity. Perform the workouts while wearing your body armor or some other piece of kit that will add resistance. In this video, I'm wearing a 12-pound extreme muscle suit to make the moves a bit tougher. Considering that 80% of individuals suffer from low back pain at some point in their lives, a core-focused dynamic warm-up makes a lot of sense here. It's my opinion that a weak posterior chain and weak glutes in particular are largely responsible for the alarming rate of low back pain in the United States. I'm sure you know plenty of guys in your platoon or on the team who have debilitating back pain. Now, there are many folks that perform crunches, sit-ups, and back extensions their entire lives and never experience back pain. On the other hand, if you can't perform an exercise properly, don't do it. If an exercise consistently causes pain, don't do it. If an exercise consistently injures you, don't do it. Just use common sense. So we're gonna start with a core focus dynamic warm-up to help you raise body temperature, lubricate your joints, and mentally prepare you for a great workout. You'll also fire up the nerve connections between your brain and muscles. You see, a prime nervous system helps you recruit more muscle fibers so you'll be faster, stronger, and more focused during the rest of the session. I'm performing four basic moves here for the dynamic warm-up. Trunk flexion with rotation, lateral trunk flexion, back extension, and right here, reverse hyperextension. All great movements for the posterior chain, in other words, your low back, your glutes, your hamstrings, your calves, all the stuff that you just don't see when you're looking at yourself in the mirror. There's definitely a risk reward trade-off when it comes to deadlifting. If you bend over too far with your torso, you'll experience sheer force as your vertebrae slide forward on each other. If this sounds familiar, you'll probably do better with either a trap bar or sumo style lift, at least in the short term, to reduce sheer forces. Here you see a glute ham raise, fantastic movement. It puts relatively little stress on the low back since there are minimal shearing forces involved. This makes it a viable way for people with back issues who may not be able to do exercises like deadlifts and Romanian deadlifts to train the posterior chain in a safe manner. It can also be used as a great accessory exercise for people who squat and deadlift regularly as a way to deload the spine while still achieving a good training effect. From an injury prevention standpoint, they're great for preventing hamstring strains and ACL injuries, particularly in females. Now, glute ham raises are superior to traditional leg curls because they work more muscle and put great emphasis on the eccentric component of knee flexion. That's just the lengthening portion. So here we have the barbell split squat. Now, this exercise targets your quadriceps, which is the muscles in the front of your thighs. It also activates about every other muscle in your lower body, including glutes, hamstrings, calves. Once you master this move, you can incorporate the rear foot elevated split squat, otherwise known as the Bulgarian split squat, into your routine. If you display optimal levels of joint mobility, stability, and motor control, you'll distribute forces much better and be able to tolerate a bigger range of motion. Single leg squats are another legitimate way to build bigger and stronger legs. It makes sense that if you strengthen your legs and build up the stabilizing muscles in the hips, your squat and deadlift will improve. For folks with back problems, I'd advise making them your primary form of squatting to allow you to continue to train the legs hard without loading the spine. Bottom line, correct any dysfunction and become qualified with body weight before loading up a movement pattern. Barbell snatch grip shrug, great axillary exercise to the deadlift because it's working. A lot of those powerful muscles that run up your backside, a lot of the muscles that most tactical athletes ignore your back, upper back, and your traps in particular. Uh, this wider grip puts a much bigger demand on the traps, which is why it's a great variation here. This is paired up with the suitcase row. It's kind of a weird row variation, whereas you're not rowing in front of you, but you're rowing uh, on either side of you, kind of like you're picking up a suitcase and sticking it in the trunk of a car. So before you go bananas with all these barbell and dumbbell movements, make sure you have a solid grasp on your tactical bodyweight training. You can get a copy of Tactical Bodyweight Workouts at tacticalbodyweightworkouts.com. 
great primer to your barbell and your dumbbell training.